Hey, from Canada. Today's gonna be a uh, errand day. I'm going to handle the tanks, so you're not gonna come with me, but uh, we'll check in tomorrow. But I just wanna say goodbye, Dean. Goodbye, Have a safe travels in uh, Alaska. Catch it 30 more times this year. I'll see you hopefully in September when you come back. Cool, let's catch the uh, nomadic movement. They're backing up right now. But like I said, I'll catch up with the vlog tomorrow, but I just want to say goodbye. Take it easy, guys. I, I love you guys. Love you too, man. Bye, Lola. Actually, this could get interesting. I'll take you guys with me today. Reason being, fuel tanks. We're doing some cool stuff with fuel tanks. Is done. Oh, uh, just got uh, saw Steve. He's a hilarious dude. Gave us like a moose sausage or something. Just got a couple pieces of metal. It's already 2 p.m. I gotta race over to the uh, uh, junkyard and get those two tanks. Let's boogie. All right. I think I was gonna. I think I said I was gonna get two seats. I changed my mind. The seats uh, a little worn, jumping around. Anyways, I'm gonna grab these two tanks. They're still upright from last time. Uh, this is gonna be a little tricky because they're kind of heavy and it's just me. This is like CrossFit, junk art edition. Oh my God. It's like 250 pounds. All right, one down. One to go. But these things are. Just want to make sure they're uh, the same. I'm trying to look for a company. Let's look for the sign. I mean, they look close enough. I don't think it's going to be an issue. Yeah, might not be exact. Could be a problem. Well, I got this far. It's only one way to find out now, I guess. Holy crap, I feel like I just completed some kind of uh, triathlon strength training outfit. You want to get in shape, lose a couple pounds, go to a junkyard and throw around 200 pound fuel tanks. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. All right, now we're gonna, go, we're gonna go talk to Rocky. Brand new custom tanks are an arm and a leg. So we're just gonna try and save a little money, repurpose uh, some things, um, and uh, you know, kind of like recycle. Fuel tanks are dropped off. Uh, my buddy's gonna take a look at them, let me know if it's even possible uh, to modify them, and uh, it's gonna get back to me. And uh, if not, we're gonna go with a custom tank. And uh, you know, that's just sometimes what you gotta do. Custom project, custom tank. Uh, like I mentioned in a previous video, it's a, a fixed cost. So once the money is spent, uh, we'll never have to spend it again. And, uh, you know, it's one of the things where more, more fuel I can carry, the less I gotta stop and go on a hunt for vegetable oil. All right, it is the next day. By the way, we don't have our ride anymore. The truck had to go back. Just wanna say thanks again to Nut Bar for uh, letting us use it. It was very helpful and uh, was a huge help, so thanks, man. Uh, okay, so, jumping into stuff. This is part of the veggie oil stuff. We salvaged this out of a uh, truck yard. I've been taking it apart, playing with it, cleaning it out. It's a fuel water separator uh, for diesel. That's one for Mike. Uh, right now, today, 
we are trying to organize some of the, uh, I don't want to call it trash, more recyclables. And uh, got lots of metal. So to answer the age-old question of, oh my gosh, if you redo a bus, is it going to be heavy? Is it going to be so much heavier? And the correct answer is... I was just thinking, I was literally just thinking, everyone tells me that. They're like, you're going to add so much weight to that thing. Yeah. Like, there's like a thousand pounds more. At least. There. there is a couple tons that we removed. And that's not even all of it. Like that's we've, we've correct. We've already gotten rid of a whole crap ton of junk. So. Yep, yep. Uh, so when you take stuff out, like this metal is seriously heavy stuff. It, obviously metal is heavier than wood, so when you're taking out like sometimes 40 seats, yeah. 35 seats, um, that's a lot of weight. So between all the metal, all the other stuff, um, yeah, we're going to add some weight to it. Clearly a lot with the vegetable oil system. But the correct answer to that age-old question, yes but no. It's well, not. It's also weight distribution. True. It's about weight distribution, not about how much weight you're putting in necessarily. Yeah. Because you got freaking, you got truck frames. So these things are, they're made to carry way more than they got. So yeah. with your veggie oil, which I don't know if you told them where you're putting things and what. Not but yet, really. It's all kind of weighted out so that you're yeah. going to have a thousand more pounds of oil, but it's not going to really mess up your ride. Yeah. I mean, plus, it, I mean, how many passengers could there possibly be in the bus? I mean, mostly, most of the time it's just me. You guys know that. And uh, if I do have people with me, that's a heck of a lot weight, a heck of a lot less weight than this whole entire thing filled up with human beings. Um, switching gears, uh, Mike, what did you accomplish when I was uh, running errands for a couple hours? Uh, well, me and Badge here, we got, well, you can see, I don't know if the last time you showed this, it was all welded and stuff, but this thing's all ready to be kind of actually final prepped and, you know, sealed and whatnot. So right now it looks all ground and rough, but we'll slide this sucker in. <laughs> All right, so guys, this is this is what we did. This is the big reveal. This is a big secret that we were messing with you guys, and thanks uh, for being a good sport. We just wanted to make it exciting. <laughs> uh, we were going to have it open like a Dutch door. Uh, that was Michael's idea. And then somewhere along the way, we decided to do like a gull wing door where it, you know, kind of comes up and then there's going to be a table there that comes down. So it's going to kind of have like a little overhang, um, not like an awning, but like it'll cover, you know, the, the table a little bit. So yeah, it's ex exciting stuff over here in Squatterville. <laughs> Very exciting stuff. And by the way, even more exciting. I'm not sure if I mentioned it early in the video because this is a two-day video. You did. Did I? Yeah. We're did. getting the pump? Oh, no, I thought you were talking about where we're going. Oh. We're getting the pump finally on oh, Thursday. The, oh, the veggie pump. Yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. veggie pump. Veggie it's, pump. Yeah. This has been <laughs> a like a thorn in our heel. It has been a sliver under our skin. It has been a speed bump in the road of life. We are finally getting this thing delivered. Took a little bit of trouble, lots of patience. But it was really like the the last missing piece of the puzzle to make this thing work, um, and hopefully we can get that uh, fuel tank by the, this weekend or so, and then mount it up. And just so you know, the fuel tank is going to be about 105 inches long. So we're going to go from about here all the way to the uh, tire, and I calculated cubic feet into. Uh, US uh, liquid gallons and it's gonna be somewhere around 125 gallons that's right folks 125 gallons so if I were to get 10 miles per gallon how many miles could I go on a single tank that is correct 1250 miles uh, I don't get 10 I get about 8 so that's about a thousand uh, miles and uh, it's pretty easy to get oil our friends over at the uh, uh, Goldie's Pizza here in Drayton Valley been giving us their oil twice a week, so I'm up to about 50 gallons. And uh, as you guys know, three dollars a gallon that's 150 dollars worth of uh, diesel fuel I got for free. So thanks, guys. Um, now, moving on in here, uh, it's gonna rain today, so I'm not sure when and if we're gonna start, but uh, we're gonna start with the subfloor shortly. And uh, we gotta just make sure everything's waterproofed. You have anything to add? Uh, no, pretty much. We just gotta make sure it's waterproofed, and then we're we're ready to put the wood in. But yeah. 
you know, it's always, uh, it rains when you don't want it to. Yeah. And now that we want it to be waterproofed and we're like so close, it's going to rain today and then it's not going to rain for three days. Yeah. So we're going to have to get a hose or something kind of yeah. this thing. But I know. That's, that's the way it goes. True. Uh, and we've basically broken every single rule we recommended. Uh, when you start a build, be close to uh, a hardware store, a major town. Uh, make sure, you know, you have like power. Uh, I would say don't do it where it gets muddy somewhere where you know if it rains those are i mean we've basically kind of like put showing you what, what not to do exactly anyways follow our, our, our advice not our example mm -hmm.